Let's assume that you have uh, tested your uh, unconstrained model uh, in comparison with a model uh, where all the regression paths are uh, constrained. And you have determined that for the overall model, there are significant differences between the fully structurally invariant model and the unconstrained model, meaning that we don't have a case for structural invariance. Now, should we just throw away this model? Or is there a way of testing if the paths that vary across the two groups are local, meaning that there are only a few paths that are variant and some other pa paths are actually invariant? Well, through specifying uh, a number of models, we can uh, test this. So let's have a look at how to do that. So we're going to take the fully structurally invariant model you double click here and I'm going to copy all of this then I'm going to create a new model and what I need to do here is to create a new model for every single path and then constrain only that path to be equal across groups that will test the hypothesis whether that particular path is uh, invariant so in total there will be 25 models and we won't do that in this video but I will specify two models to show you how it looks. So the first one we'll specify is B4. So I'm going to delete all the other paths except for B4. And I'm going to call this model only B4 constrained. Then I'm going to create a new model and I paste all the constraints in here and I'm only going to select B7. Now the reason I'm selecting B4 and B7 is just because it will be easy to illustrate uh, what I'm trying to uh, do here using these two paths uh, but you will need to test all of the paths to get the complete picture. So we're going to constrain only B7 here in the title so it's easy to read the output. Okay, close. So now we have four models that we're going to test. We have a fully unconstrained model where all paths are free to vary across the two groups. We have a model with full structural invariance where all causal paths have been set to be equal across groups. And we have a model where only B4 is set to be invariant across groups and a model where only B7 has been set to be invariant across groups. So let's run this and see what we get. So we open the output, we click model comparison, and then we click assuming model unconstrained to be correct. We can see here we have the same result as before for the fully structural invariant model meaning that it is significantly different from the unconstrained model and we can't support structural invariance for the model as a whole. Now, looking at these two additional models, we can see for the model where only the path B4 is constrained to be equal across groups, we can see that that model is significantly different from the unconstrained model. Therefore, structural invariance does not hold for the path B4. However, if we look at the model where only B7 is constrained, we can see that there are not significant differences between this model and the unconstrained model. That means that B7 is structurally invariant across the two groups. Now in order to get a full picture of the entire model, you need to repeat this for all of the paths and note down your results. And the results you get from that will be an overview of which paths can be argued to be structurally invariant across the two groups and which paths cannot.